Hi, my name is Caleb Johnson. Um, I am from Evansville, Indiana, the Evansville chapter, Full Gospel, uh, and I've been with the uh, Full Gospel for uh, going on four years now. Um, I am the the leader, uh, whatever you want to call it, of the uh, Holy Smoke Hangout in Evansville, uh, which is a for those of you who don't know what Holy Smoke Hangout is, it's a, a youth and young adult outreach uh, using music and other artistic giftings um, to share the love of Jesus and the gospel uh, in a way that the young generation can uh, receive it, um, can hear it, hear the word of God, and really respond to who Jesus is and what he and what he's called for them in their life. And so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my story, uh, how we kind of got to this point. Um, I was ra I was raised in a Christian home in Wisconsin. Um, my parents were actually were first generation Christians. Um, so they were um, very green in, in, in understanding necessarily how to raise a godly family. But they, in my opinion, they did a very a good job um, of showing who Jesus was, praying for us. Um, I grew up in a household that was very loving, you know, and so in some ways, you know, I, I really feel like my upbringing was kind of cushy. Uh, in other ways, uh, there were some other challenges. We were a poor family. Um, because my parents were first generation Christians, um, their idea of Christianity was pretty much 100% ministry. So um, there was some, some of that struggle, you know, because of my dad um, wanting to be in full-time ministry. Um, we were always very, we were always poor growing up. Um, and uh, not that we, not that we didn't survive and, you know, the things were really, really bad. But uh, you know, like I said, we, did, we just didn't necessarily have all of those, all of the things that maybe uh, my, the, the, these younger generations, these generations now um, you know, have, you know, kind of growing up. And that's okay. I think God used that. You know, that's part of my testimony, I think, in, in it. But um, so I got saved. Uh, my salvation experience, like I said, I kind of, it's very difficult to explain kind of when that happened because, like I said, I, I always kind of knew who Jesus was. Like I said, for as, as long as I can remember, um, he, Jesus was in the home. Um, and uh, we, I was singing at a very, very early age. I've always sang. That's always been one of my, one of the giftings that God has, has given me. Um, and also, that's kind of my passion and, and kind of the way that I'm wired. I'm, I'm, I'm very musical. Uh, and so I was always singing, uh, always Jesus songs. Usually, you know, kind of growing up. Um, but I really, I can remember um, where I, when I made that decision. Uh, would, it was in the home, and I believe my mom was the one who, who uh, led me through the prayer. And basically, it was just a simple prayer, um, kind of the, G the Jesus. I uh, I know that you died for me. Um, I I want to I want to live for you. Uh, come into my heart and uh, that kind of thing. And um, so that would happen to pr probably about eight. I think I was about eight years old. And uh, and then we had uh, uh, some Christian summer camps. Uh, through the church that we were going that going to at the time, and uh, it was a it was a spirit filled uh, camp, and so the last night uh, of the camp, they uh, they had an altar call uh, for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So they explained what uh, being filled with the Spirit, who the who Holy Spirit was, and I I kind of knew a little bit about that at the before, but not really. Um, and I I have to explain that before this happened. Um, at, at a very young age, I was a, I was a very timid, I was a very shy um, person, and I had a lot of fear, and I didn't really, and I think it was just probably because of the way that I was brought up. I was a middle child, and so my my siblings were always kind of talking over me and things like that, and so I just actually developed a stutter early on, you know, in, in my younger years, um, but. I would say when I went to that camp and that we had the altar call, they said, you know, how many of you want, you know, want to experience the power of the Holy Spirit and to be able to be a witness for Jesus uh, in your life? And you know that something inside of me, you know, screamed out, "I want that." You know, you know, I I, I don't want to be afraid. I don't want to be timid. I don't want to, you know, and uh, and uh, I, I just felt like that that wasn't necessarily me because I was a I was a joyful kid. You know, like I said, I was singing all the time. I sang all the time and stuff. It was just when it came to uh, other people and being in in large group settings that uh, that was that was harder for me. And um, so I went down and uh, man, I got filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, they led me. It was old old school. 
if you know anything about how it was kind of how it had to happen back then when I was younger, uh, it was very much uh, a coaching. So they're going to be with you and they're going to say, you know, you're uh, you're just going to open your mouth and just kind of start repeating syllables uh, until until it until it catches, you know, and. Uh, but I believe it. I believe that I received it at that time. You know, I believe that was genuine because, and I know it was because everything about me changed from that moment on. I, I was almost a completely different person. Um, I was not shy anymore. Um, I recognized very early after that point that I had a, that I had, I had a leadership call in my life. Uh, that I was different from from the rest of my generation. Not that I was better. Uh, just that I kind of felt like before when I felt like I didn't fit in before I received the, the baptism I didn't really feel like I fit in I didn't know uh, why I felt a certain way when I was around people and things like that I recognized Holy Spirit started to witness in me that this is because I've called you to a higher purpose I've called you actually to when you step into a room or you step into these situations to really help lead and facilitate what I'm doing. And before I had the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I didn't really know what that was. I had no understanding um, that that was how God had wired me and that was what he had called me to. And really he calls everyone to that, I think on some level, you know what I mean? So don't get me wrong on that, but I do believe that God has there has given people leadership giftings. And that gifting, uh, is when coupled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit grabs a hold of you, uh, puts you on a whole nother plane to really be able to walk in the calling that you have and so like I said I got um, I stepped into that at a very very early age and uh, it, or, around high school or so I began leading Bible studies uh, student-led Bible studies uh, we called it uh, cell groups it was through a, a ministry called Barnabas Ministries which is a parachurch ministry um, and uh, we had them in the school um, we met usually before school or you know or that kind of thing and so uh, I was leading those um, junior high or I mean sorry uh, sophomore junior year and then and, and following and um, and then I picked up my parents had always played a guitar both my parents play guitar and uh, my dad actually led guitar you know in home groups and stuff like that growing up so I always had that in the home as well and I really felt the, uh, uh, something in my spirit in, in my high school years to pick up the guitar and uh, started learning, started learning the guitar. And originally, you know, with most young people nowadays, the reason why they pick up a guitar or why they learn an instrument is because they want to be noticed. They want to, they want to, they want, they want to, for people to see them and, and and give them worth or give them value, give them acknowledgement. Well, mine was the total opposite. I had already been filled with the spirit. I had already understood who it, who I was. So w when when I picked up the guitar, it was a very very quick work for me because uh, God, I was the only purpose for that was to glorify Jesus. And I'm not, that wasn't me. I'm not saying, a testimony, I'm not saying that is anything about me. That's everything about him. He put that desire in me. And uh, so when I picked up the guitar, I learned it. I learned very, very quickly. And uh, I actually began leading worship um, very shortly after that. Um, shortly after that, that happened, we ended up moving down uh, to Evansville, Indiana. And for my dad, for ministry, he was uh, gonna, gonna be going to get his Master's of Divinity at Trinity Bible College in Evansville. And uh, so when we, as we were down there, uh, he, the long story short, I won't go into all of the details, but he ended up becoming the senior pastor at the church that we were ministering at um, through, a, through a series of events. And then shortly after that, as I was on the worship team, helping to helping to lead worship, uh, really just being a, a back backup singer, and I played backup guitar and things like that. Um, the Lord led me uh, and, and raised me, and finally He put me in a position where I I became the the head worship. I became the worship leader for the church, and then I went through a a, a season of uh, discovering that gifting and that anointing and that calling, and God literally, Holy Spirit would actually literally use uh, books and, and other resources, other 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 um, worship leaders and things like that um, to, to teach me about worship, what worship was, 
um, and then also what what prophecy was the, the prophetic gift the prophetic gifting and so God started to merge uh, a spirit of worship a Davidic spirit of worship um, with 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 prophecy and uh, so I, I really uh, grew in that uh, very quickly and God started to ele God has elevated me you know you know since that place to be able to, to, to play and lead worship lead people into the throne room of God and experience the love of Jesus in a way that maybe they've never experienced before um, and like I said I got connected with full gospel about four years ago and uh, got connected with Mike Bond and the Evansville chapter and uh, heard about the Holy Smoke hangout vision and uh, What's awesome about that is that I literally uh, about five years before that I had written in my journal that ex almost that exact vision for Holy Smoke Hangout of what I felt God had called me to do uh, to help raise this this next generation in Jesus, and so I got the opportunity. It was like hand in glove, man. Hand in, it was amazing. God literally just knit me into full gospel. Um, and I got to start a Holy Smoke hangout in Evansville. Uh, and now I'm doing exactly what I feel like God has called me to do. And I'm excited to see my generation step into those giftings and callings and be filled with Holy Spirit to be, to operate and to be able to testify of what Jesus is doing in their life uh, as well. So thank you. God bless.